Welcome to the Low Car Car Show. I'm your host, Sam Adavi. I'm finally back home. We're coming to you from the set of Sam's Garage, and this special how-to episode is presented by NHL Undercoating. Welcome to the Low Car Car Show. This is gonna be one awesome car. And I said, it doesn't even run yet. <laughs> and look at it now, it's amazing. Welcome to the Low Car Car Show. I'm your host, Sam Adavi. This episode of Low Car is brought to you by NH Oil Undercoating. Today, we're gonna to take the fear out of ceramic coating. We're gonna show you how to shine your car for the next car show. I'm here with my two good friends, Jared Freeland and his dad, Buddy Freeland. They are the owners of State Collision Center. They do an awesome job detailing, paint correction, and ceramic coating. And today, we're gonna to teach you guys how to properly wash your car, take the fear out of ceramic coating. We're gonna explain paint correction. These guys are professionals. I'm gonna go ahead and let them explain. Yeah, that's right, Sam. So today, we'd really like to go through an in-depth look of what it takes to do a true paint correction step. We never go below the knee line until the very end because we don't want to pull any contaminants from the bottom that may have picked up from the road debris and, and work it back in. We don't want to scratch the paint uh, you know, with, with some debris that may get in there, even though we're using the two bucket method. Now, if you'll notice, after I do a panel, I'm going to dip it into my, my dirty water, wring it out really good, trying to get all the contaminants off the sponge before I reintroduce it back to a panel. So then I'll go back to my clean bucket, get soaked back on the sponge, and then take it back to the next panel. And again, when I'm washing this, it's very light pressure. We don't want to grind anything into the paint surface to cause any more swirls or imperfections in the vehicle's clear coat. So the basic meaning of hydrophobic is that something doesn't like water. So when you see the water on top of this coated surface, water is going to repel off of it. Nothing's going to stick to it. So that's basically what hydrophobic means. It might sound complicated, but it's really all it is. All right, so now that we have finished washing the car, we're gonna go ahead and start prepping the car for the ceramic coating, and this is where the polishing and the compounds come into play. And I'm gonna have Jared explain to you what the difference is between polish and compound and the different buffers that are available today. Yeah, that's right, Sam. So most cars are gonna be more than happy with going with at least a two-stage process right here. So this is gonna be our compounding pad, which is gonna cut through the clear coat. This is designed to cut. So when your vehicle has a scratch, that's basically just a gully that's in your vehicle's clear coat. So in order to make that go away, we've gotta level the surface, which will make it look like glass. Then once we finish with our compounding stage, we're gonna move on to polishing. Now this is gonna remove any type of marring that might have been left behind during the compounding stage. So this is really gonna bring out that shine and bring it back to life. And you wanna use a water-based product when you're doing ceramic coating, correct? Yeah, that's right. All the products that we're gonna use on this vehicle today for uh, compounding and polishing are all water-based, which is not gonna leave any residue behind when we're finished. That way it's not gonna fill in any of the scratches where the cracks might be in the paint. Another important aspect during the paint correction process is making sure that you mask up certain areas that you don't want to hit with your buffer. So certain areas like these plastic trim pieces, we would definitely want to mask off prior to the paint correction process. NH Oil Undercoating Incorporated, NHOU, the official oil-based rust proofing system. Low car performance products, quality, plain and simple. Believe it or not, that was a lot of fun. That was my first time doing any kind of buffing, polishing on a vehicle using compound. Jarrett made it so easy for me to be able to do. That was fun because you get the satisfaction of taking a panel and making it look good from when it was before. Now Jarrett's gonna go on to the polishing portion of it and we're gonna learn how to do that. He's gonna give us some tips and I'm gonna go in and do some of the polishing as well. Okay, so for the polishing process, it's very similar to the compounding process. Our arm speed's gonna be a little bit faster. Arm speed just simply means how fast you move the buffer across the panel. So to start, I'm gonna spread the product evenly in about a two foot by two foot area on the lowest speed setting that the buffer has. That way we're not gonna sling it and make a mess everywhere. Then once my product's spread, I'm gonna raise my speed on my buffer to about three and a half to four and work in about a two by two area. So let's go ahead and get to it. And the reason why he put the cord over his shoulder is because he wants to make sure it does not touch the car, keeps it away and manages the cord that way. That's right. So basically this polishing stage right here is a single stage paint correction. And this will be sufficient for most of you guys at home who are doing your at home DIY ceramic coating procedure. You have a new car and you just want to give it a nice shine. A one stage polish will probably do good for you. 
unless you have something deeper, that's when you want to go see a professional like yourself yeah, and get exactly. a second and third stage polish. That's, that's correct. So this polishing pad right here is really going to bring out the shine in this vehicle's clear coat. That's all this is designed to do. This might cut down on some of the imperfections, but this is really going to bring out the shine. All right, so now that we have got the polishing out of the way, we're ready to put the ceramic coating on. But before we do that, we have to prep the surface, and that is by getting all the contaminants off. And NHOU does include a small bottle inside your kit to do that with, and you can go on their website and get the supersized bottle because you're gonna wanna use this a lot. Tell us about what we're gonna do with this. Yeah, so the surface prep is gonna be our final step before applying the ceramic coating. What this is gonna do is lift any oils or anything that might be left behind on the surface. So the key for the longevity of the coating is gonna be the prep. So this is really the most important part right before we lay down the final product. And this is where you wanna use goggles and glasses because this could be a little corrosive, irritating, so this is a good time to use goggles and glasses. Right. One final point, with these microfibers that come with the kit, before we start touching this perfected paint that we have right here, we're gonna make sure we rip off these tags to prevent any type of scratch and then shake them out really well before we use them. All right, so this is uh, NHOU's Ceramic Boost Spray. It's basically a sealant. Uh, this can be a standalone product if your car is not ceramic coated. You can use this on there. It's gonna give it uh, up to six months of protection as a standalone product. Um, this is also a good idea to use on your ceramic coated vehicle to kind of keep that slick feeling that you want and really keep it shining. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, you just simply spray it onto the panel, take a dry clean microfiber, kind of work the product into the panel. You, uh, you need shade to do this. You definitely don't want to do this in direct sunlight. But wipe it on, wipe it off. All right, so in your NHOU ceramic coating kit, you're gonna get five microfiber towels, you're gonna get two applicator pads along with the applicator itself, you're gonna get the magical bottle of ceramic coating along with the surface prep, the clay bar, and two awesome stickers. All right, this is everything you're gonna to need to be able to ceramic coat your car at home. In the future, you can go onto their website and purchase bigger bottles of the high gloss, and if you need surface prep, they got both of those on their website. So we've got our applicator block here and our piece of fabric that comes in the kit. So all I'm gonna do is take this with the soft side down, try and roll it up as neat as possible right here. And now when we're first starting, we're gonna make sure that we prime this pad. All that means is we're gonna get plenty of product on this for our first initial application. Plenty of material on here to start with. And that's gonna start us off here. We're gonna work in small areas. I think one of the things we get in, in trouble with any products, whether it's waxes or ceramics or any of those products is we try to do too big of an area and try to come back and wipe it off. The ceramic product, you really have to maintain a small enough area that you can control. Your temperature and your conditions will, will have a bearing on that. And this uh, is where you said you don't want to put down force, you want to have more friction. Well, when we're removing it, we want to use, we want to use more friction than pressure. If we, we use too much pressure on it, we can let that sit and let that flash off for a few minutes or a few seconds. Your conditions in each particular situation are going to dictate how long you have to wait to wipe that off. Now explain the nanotechnology. Well, nanotechnology is really one of the biggest key factors to the ceramics ability to have this l very long lasting effect. A chemical bond, or not necessarily a chemical bond, but an electronic bond, covalent bond. The other particles that would be the wax, polymers, and sealants, they're very large. And those particles sit on top. This nanotechnology gets down to the cracks and crevices of the cross sections of paint and allows this product to really grab a hold and give you extreme long-lasting effects. Welcome back. Now let's go check out some cool cars. Hope you guys liked this season of The Low Car Show and this special episode brought to you by NHOU Protective Undercoating. We featured a variety of cars and we were able to go through the proper steps of showing you how to shine your vehicle for the next car show. I want to thank Buddy and Jarrett from State Collision Center for coming on board and showing us some amazing tips. I hope you enjoyed The Low Car Car Show showcasing some of the country's most beautiful automobiles. Hoping you are inspired by some of these builds, giving you ideas for your next project. Maybe I can check out your ride at one of these events next year.
step by step, trying to make it easy so that people can do it at home. I know with ceramic, it's a little bit of a mystery for some of us older generation folks. Coming up on wax throughout the years, this is a true game changer, and we look forward to sort of explaining and taking away some of the mysteries behind what ceramic is all about. And hopefully we can save you guys some money and show your car at the next car show all shined up. So stay tuned, we'll be right back.